Hey, yo, what Ancient Beast? Welcome back to my channel. Now, according to what I've been seeing on uh, on television, uh, they had a a unusual sighting in Vegas, and somebody leaked about UFOs and aliens again. Well, I guess it happens just about all the time. So, do aliens exist on Earth? Is there an organization like Men in Black? Does that even exist? Are beings from space advancing our modern technology at light speed? Is Arnold Schwarzenegger a, really a T-1000 robot? If you answered any of these questions, just watch through the rest of the video. It might entertain you. So, throughout the course of lockdown, you've had a lot of things that have happened. But a lot of things that have happened are invisible. We do not know that they even exist yet because, well, they were done in lockdown. Uh, throughout the whole course of that whole two years, people have worked in their basements, people have worked in their barns, people have worked, you know, out of sight and out of mind. The thing is, is if aliens do exist, well, okay. The thing is, is if, if, uh, Aliens do exist. Beings from another world has come over, that's come down and helps us out, and, and it's a secret uh, between uh, major countries. Uh, I mean, okay, so be it. But the thing is, uh, space space life has been mentioned throughout history. We don't know if it's real. We don't know if it's fake. We can't even prove it. And if you say that that's hogwash, there is a, you've seen it, but the thing is, nobody's ever really proved it. It's just like everybody's telling us to prove religion. Well, the thing is, religion started years and years and years and years ago, and, well, nobody can be able to prove it. You just either believe it or you don't believe it. Now, the thing, is, the thing that I do know is if any beings that are in a, from another uh another planet in our, I mean, in the galaxy. Well, the thing is, they were going to have to travel between light and warp speed. That would probably be about the equivalent. I would probably, in, in my opinion, would be almost faster than a comet. So, or faster than a shooting star. It could be the shooting star that you see that's out. Or the, the asteroids or the meteorites that they claim that are coming too close to Earth. That sort of thing. But, like I said, in order for them to be able to travel in space to get to Earth, it's going to have to be light or warp speed and beyond. They're going to have to have extraordinary ships. And, well, the thing is, I don't even know if there, if there is any. The thing is, is the thing that controversial, uh, you know, contradicts what people say is, well, if we have people here with extremely high intelligence, uh, if we have kids that start off in school that are, uh, you know, 100 IQ, we have kids that are going to junior high school that have an extremely high IQ. There's a lot of adults with extremely high IQs, but they don't have, uh, you know, they have something something else going on that they can't socialize very well. So a lot of that stuff is kept in the dark. Uh, I mean, we've seen television shows and stuff of, you know, people extremely high IQs that are inside of a uh, motel room and there's all kinds of mathematicians, mathematics written all over the walls from the door all the way around to solve a mathematical equation to be able to prov uh, prove a theory. So that, that's the type of thing that I'm talking about. I mean, you had that one television show of that genius kid that could do college level calculus. Okay. That's just a that's just a, that's just the foundation of what I'm talking about. But you have people with extremely high IQs. They have they have the talents to be able to do the stuff that to be able to create 
wonderful and magnificent things. Uh, something that I relate to is designing something before it's time. Now, this is really uh, interesting because of the fact that let's say t let's take a motor a uh, a car manufacturer. A lot of the cars today were already pre-designed back in the '60s. They were designed before its time. They didn't they didn't want to have it then, but they kept it in their in their vaults. Well, there's a lot of these cars that look exactly the same, so you don't even know what brand they are. Just by standing back, you got to go look at the logo. Uh, I can relate to it. Uh, I was uh, in drafting and engineering uh, at a community college, and I designed this high-rise apartment building in a different manner than what, they, than what traditional apartment buildings are. Now... My uh, engineering instructor, my architecture, my my drafting instructor looked and saw what I put together on this paper. And they said, you know, this is so far ahead of our time right now that even if we try to present it, it won't go through. They said, this is something that's for the very far future. Sure enough, and I would say probably about 34 years later, it, it would be a hit right now. The only problem is, I forgot half the stuff that was on it, and I can't find my design. But, it's still inside my head, but the thing is, is it's, you know, so far ahead of its time, that if I started it, they would try and figure out who or what being made it. It's just like the, uh, the fidget spinner. The fidget spinner was hot back in the 80s and 90s. Well, it was made back in the 80s and 90s. Uh, I think it almost looked like a skateboard. But it came in really quick and went out just as fast as it came in. It really never gained huge popularity. So it was thrown into the, into the, into the junk drawer. And, uh, well, so evidently somebody from China found it. And they said, oh, wait a minute. We got better gears. Let's remanufacture and let's throw it out there. Well, sure enough, they did that and it became a massive hit for, I'd say, six, seven, eight months. But the thing is, that was something that was made before its time. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, you know, ancient tribes like the Mayans. There's thousands and thousands of things that the Mayans came up with back during their prime. It was so far ahead of its time, and still is. They don't know if the Mayans are, were aliens that landed on Earth. They do not know what type of people the Mayans were. They don't know what type of people certain other places that they've seen on Earth were. They don't know if they were visitors from space to help advance technology. So that's the thing. I mean, that's what I'm talking about is we have no clue if alien technology is real or even if aliens are real or even if aliens exist on Earth because they do or not. We have no proof. All we can do is just think, imagine, and brainstorm. Uh, a lot of things that have, like I said before their time, are rejected designs. Rejected designs, people will find, they'll go to an estate sale, they'll go to a yard sale, they'll go and uh, buy up assets from an old business, maybe an old pawn shop, maybe an old architectural firm. There was one guy that found a, uh, a design for it was some kind of an electric motorcycle when he bought out an engineering firm. Bought out the engineering firm, and then he went, go, went and looked through all the blueprints, and sure enough, he found the electric bicycle. This was like an electric motorcycle concept. And he went with it, and, well, that's what he's been selling. The guy, I believe, uh, there was another person that had a uh, concept of uh, the uh, Zap car, there's something similar to the Zap cars. 
which is an all-electric car. And, uh, well, he had found the plans in his grandfather's attic. So, like I said, it's just reject rejected designs. The people are just tossed. But people kept saying it's not needed right now. It's too far ahead in the future. Old books. Textbooks, literature books, school books. Lots of people are buying them as many of them as they possibly can. Because on those margins, on those sidebars, in the front, in the back, anywhere they can on these books, there are there is valuable, valuable information that can actually throw, you know, bits and pieces far ahead of its time. And they'll pick up on that, they'll look at that, and they They'll put it on paper, draw it, and then revise it, and then it's theirs. And don't t don't tell me that oh, stolen designs you shouldn't be able to steal designs. Uh, you should be able to give credit where credit is due. All well, the thing is, is if you look at uh, if you look at you know music in general, a lot of music is copies of a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. A lot of music started by somebody sitting inside of a club and listening to that sound, replicating that sound, and they found a new sound. So, like I said, it's a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. People have been finding them in storage units of a actual prototype. I, I know a p person that found a prototype car that belonged to uh, Austin Healy, I believe. And... Uh, Right now, he's trying to build that into a concept of an electric car. So that's the thing is, is, things have been built before its time, but we don't know where it came from, when it came from, or how it came from. So, what do you guys think of this video? Do you guys think that uh, a lot of stuff was made before its time, and then it was made so well that uh, when somebody brings it up into the future, it's made so perfectly that uh, well they believed that an alien would have made it I don't know or it became so popular that they think it came from outer space let me know in the comment section below I would like to hear about it it's just it's just something for fun I wanted to do a fun video because I saw that online and I saw that on TV I said you know what what if alien technology was real I don't know. So, like I said, drop a comment in the comment section below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And then, most of all, until next time, keep on rocking.